we are in the United States of America, where I, as an evangelical Christian, can show up and do something as casting a vote, and half of the Christians out there won't even take advantage of the opportunity because they're too busy, you have to understand something, that every time you, as a Christian, exercise the right that the founding fathers gave you to vote, you set back the forces of Satan. Because the default mode of human governments in human history is totalitarianism. That's the direction they all go in if left unchecked. Because power corrupts and absolute power what? Corrupts absolutely. So you start understanding biblical principles and you start exercising them in the polling place, you just throw a monkey wrench into Satan's schemes. See that? And that's the, that's the total tragedy of <laughs> the statistics I'm aware of. Our half of the body of Christ is registered to vote. And then only half of that number actually shows up in votes. And we wonder, you know, we sit around wondering, well, gosh, the country's gone to hell in a handbasket. And what, what, did, uh, what was it, Benjamin Franklin, what did he say when he came out of the Constitutional Convention? You know, he made a statement. Some lady asked him a question. What have you given us, doctor? A republic or a monarchy? And he said a republic. And this is in the notes of James Madison. James Madison is the fastidious note taker at the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia. He said, as recorded in the notes of James Madison, so this is not some quote that I found on the internet. I mean, this is like a real quote. He said a, to her, who was questioning what kind of government he, those in Philadelphia had given, he said, a republic, if you can keep it. So in other words, it's your responsibility to make sure it stays that way and doesn't revert to totalitarianism, which is the default mode of every government uh, on planet Earth. And so, you know, even we have a local election, state election, Tuesday. You can show up and you can exercise your rights there and you can function as the restrainer, which is your function in 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 6 and 7, and you can throw a monkey wrench in Satan's schemes. Isn't that amazing? And yet, how many pastors do you think talk like this to their congregations? It's a stewardship issue. I mean, what is stewardship? Stewardship is, uh, I'm not an owner, I'm a manager. And God is going to hold people accountable at the Bama Seat Judgment of Christ for their stewardship in all kinds of areas. Marriages, families, <clears throat> businesses, life of the church. And if you're an American, I can guarantee you, Jesus is going to want to know what you did with this right that you have that very few people in human history have.